Hello, welcome back to the start of another weekly vlog. It is Tuesday. Apparently, I don't kick vlogs off on Mondays anymore. I can't remember the last time I actually kicked the vlog off on Monday. I don't know if it's because right now I'm teaching my course live on Monday nights, so Mondays are just kind of busy and really focused in on that, or if it's because I feel like every day is the same right now with just being at home and every day feels very similar, or if it's because we're back in New York and being in this small space and both of us working and being on the phone, it's just, it's tough to find time to like pick up the camera and, and chat and say hi. But I am in the middle of cooking dinner and I had a few minutes, like I have four minutes until the timer goes off and I have nothing else to like chop or open. So I thought I would go ahead and kick off the vlog and say hi. I really don't have anything else to talk about besides that I don't remember the last time I kicked off the weekly vlog on a Monday. I'm still trying to figure out a groove, not a groove of weekly vlogs. This is the third year that I'm doing weekly vlogs, but I really am trying to figure out with where we're at right now in our lives and the fact that every day feels the same, how to still make these valuable and not so that you feel like they're the same over and over again. So I know I asked this question back in December, but in case you missed it or in case you're new here or in case you have a different answer, what is it about the weekly vlogs that you enjoy? What brings you value? What segments of the weekly vlogs do you get really excited about? I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Let me share with you what we're making for dinner. I'm making a home chef meal. I mentioned this in last week's weekly vlog that I knew that this Sunday with the Super Bowl, I wasn't gonna have a whole lot of time to meal prep. And so instead of doing a week from the Cook Once Eat All Week cookbook, I actually ordered three meals from Home Chef this week. Home Chef, I'm, I'm taking one week at a time. Like it depends on what the weekend looks like. It depends on what the next week looks like. I love the time that it saves me from a meal prep and grocery shopping and planning perspective, but it is pricey and so it's not something that I, I necessarily want to continue for forever or want to do every single week for forever. But I did order three this week and I always do the longest one on Tuesday nights. I, that is just, that's how I pick what the meal is on Tuesday nights because Tuesdays are the nights that I have the most energy to cook for the longest <laughs> because I don't have anything else going on. There's no course, there's no live, it's not the end of the week and it just is, if, it's the best day for me to pick the longest one. So this one is honey mustard pork meatloaf with red cabbage and Brussels sprouts. It sounds really good. And it says that it takes 35 to 45 minutes, but let's be honest, if you've ever done one of these meal delivery services, it always takes way longer than it says on the card, always. Uh, so anyway, totally not sponsored. I buy this box myself. I do have a referral code if you want. I think it's $35 off. Maybe, maybe it's more off of your first box and then I get credit back to the shop. I know one of you did that and I appreciate that so much that we get that credit back that we can use on our boxes. And I mean, like I said, I continue to buy them on weeks that I know that they're helpful for us. <sighs> All right, it is lunchtime on Wednesday. Today's been kind of a weird day. Uh, I, I already got ready for the day, but I haven't worked out yet. I, the workout I've been doing, I've talked about it before, it's called the Fit Club with Justina Ercole. I'm not actually sure if I'm saying her last name right. Also, I feel like I have to keep my mask on when I'm walking in New York because sometimes when I'm on the sidewalk, I end up passing people. Maybe I'll just keep it down. But I hate, I hate wearing it while talking to you. But this also kind of looks kind of funny. But sometimes you just can't stay six feet apart from people on New York City sidewalks. I don't know which way is weirder, but we're, we'll go with this. <laughs> it's also nice to breathe and talk, because talking and vlogging at the same time with the mask on is it's like a exercise. Anyways, so the work that I've been doing, she has both on-demand classes and live classes. And most of the time I will do the on-demand class in the morning as part of my morning routine. But if the live class is a theme or music that I would really, really get motivated by, then I try to squeeze the live class into my schedule. Well, today the live class is High School Musical and I I love High School Musical. I mean, that like that just brings me back and I get so motivated by that music. Sorry, it's super bright outside. So when I was planning my week on Sunday, I looked at my calendar, my work calendar, my personal calendar, and I was like, I could totally make Wednesday during lunchtime work. I'll just do something else in the morning and then you know, whatever I normally do during lunch, I'll move it to the morning and it'll be perfect. And then, I'm interviewing right now for our summer intern and they scheduled a morning interview. But I really still wanted to do the High School Musical bar class today during lunch. So I got ready so that I looked like a human for the interview because as much as I'm interviewing them to see if 
except I want them to be our summer intern, they're also interviewing me to make sure that, you know, our department is a good fit for them and their career goals. So I got ready, did the interview, and now it is lunchtime. I'm going for a quick walk because my step goal basically requires me to leave the apartment. I'm not gonna get 40,000 steps a week in my 400 square foot apartment. So I'm trying to go on a short walk every day. So I'm kind of counting it as my warm up. I'm gonna get my walk in and then get home. The class starts at 1230, it's just 30 minutes. 1230 to one. And then afterwards, we'll see. Sometimes with bar classes, I don't get super sweaty. I mean, I'm gonna take a body shower regardless, but whether I like wash my face and redo all my makeup, because I have an interview after lunch too, at like two or three or something. And so I have to be ready for the afternoon as well. And it's Wednesday, so I'm going live tonight. So, all right, so I'm heading back home because I it's about 10 minutes from when the class was start. So I wanna make sure that I get home and get settled and everything before it starts. And I looked at my watch and I was like, kind of disappointed in the number of steps that I've gotten so far today. I'm not anywhere near the daily goal. But then I reminded myself, if you watched a recent vlog, it's not a daily goal, it's a weekly goal. And that's exactly why it's a weekly goal. So for days like this, where I might not hit that daily average, that's okay. There's gonna be another day this week where I have more time, where the weather is nicer. That's probably not gonna happen, but I will have more time and I can make up for the steps that I don't get today. I am so excited to make a cup of tea for the live tonight. I have been struggling to get my water and I'm all done today, which I'm super proud of, but I have been struggling for the last few weeks to get all of my water in and I kind of made a unwritten rule with myself that I wouldn't have anything else to drink. I have my cup of coffee in the morning, but I wouldn't have anything else to drink, tea, coffee, alcohol, anything until I finished all of my water for the day. And cause some days I finish at like one or two and then some days it's like I'm struggling through dinner to try and get it. But anyway, so I'm done. So I am gonna go through, these are all the teas left from the David's Tea Ad calendar and I'm going to find one that has no caffeine cause it is late, not late, but way too late for caffeine and find one to make for this live tonight. It doesn't look like, oh, here's one. Soleil Ride, that one's zero. That sounds, that might be good. But here's another zero, what's this one? Forever Frosty. Ooh, here's another one. This one sounds really good. Caramel shortbread. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what we're going with. I don't know. I just really was craving something like sweet. So I went ahead and used the whole thing because I know with the fruit infusions that they're just not strong enough for me if I only do half. So I used the whole thing and then I filled the entire cup up with water. So I'm going to let this sit for, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so. And then I will pour it into a mug. I decided that tonight I'm going to use my cat person mug. I figured since I was wearing black, I needed a colorful mug for tonight. Good morning, happy Thursday. I am getting ready for the day. I have been doing a pretty consistent job about getting ready in general, just because it makes me feel more ready for the day, more put together. Um, but today is a particular busy day. Before work, I have a podcast interview with the Best Laid Plans podcast. I'm not quite sure when it's going to be out, but I will definitely let y'all know when it is out. So I have that at 8 a.m. before work and then during lunch, I have my live Q&A for my course. And then after work, I have a like networking kind of call with um, a guy that's in my public speaking mastermind. I have been, I've actually been wanting to get to know him for a long time. His focus is trademarking and like legal protections for small creative businesses. And I just, he is, seems brilliant in his field of study and his, the business that he's grown for himself and I just have wanted to get to know him for a long time and so we set up time to just chat um, and that's after work so busy day and I have like two actual work zoom calls during the day so definitely one of these days that I'm gonna like do a full not man I'm, I'm debating how full I'm gonna get on my eyes but more a little bit of a full face of makeup but as I was getting ready this morning I was thinking about the fact that I really need to get my eyebrows waxed they're pretty bad um, but that's one of those things that I'm like, man, that feels really unnecessary to have somebody that close to my face. I know I could keep my mask on while I do it. They would have their mask on. They probably follow great procedures, but like, do I need someone that close to my face? I haven't decided yet how I'm feeling about it. But what I thought about, the thought that crossed my mind while I was looking at my eyebrows was, should I go get them done before I move since I like have a place up here? But then I realized I have 
pretty much anything I need. I have a place near our new apartment because it's within walking distance of my office. And I have a lot of, like my gynecologist is within walking distance of the office because my appointment was always during the day. So that is now within walking distance of our new apartment. I know the library to use down there. I The eyebrow place I go to is a chain and they have a location down there that I've been to because I've gone right after work. Like it's just, it works out really well. The only exception is getting my hair cut. Um, the place I get my hair cut is up here by my apartment. So I'm gonna have to find a place by the office or by, by the new apartment. It's just so funny. I feel like, I feel like I want to throw away this blush. I don't, it just doesn't really do anything for me. And I feel like I'm grabbing for it cause I'm trying to use it up, but man, I just don't really like it. Anyways, I feel like I don't have to find a whole lot of those places because I already have them from spending so much time in that neighborhood for work. Even like restaurants, like my favorite lunch sushi place, like I can walk to that. Like our my, our favorite Indian place that I used to always, these are always like my lunch spots, um, but they can turn into dinner spots for us. You know, it's just, it's so convenient that I'm already pretty familiar with the neighborhood down there. So I'm just really excited. I'm really excited to move. We got boxes delivered yesterday. I was torn. I'm just going to do my lazy eyes, which is, I already did part of it, which is putting my bronzer in my crease and then putting my highlighter on the tops of my eyes. That's it. That's what I'm doing for my eyes today. I might put on actual eyeliner. That might be the extra step I do today since I have so much going on, but I'm not actually going to do like full blown eyeshadow. Anyways, uh, we got some boxes delivered yesterday. I ordered them from a website called Cheap, Cheap Moving Boxes, I think is what it's called. Um, the prices seemed really good. They had one to two day delivery. I, I, I read a lot of places to like not pay for boxes and to go get free boxes. But at the end of the day, I just don't know if that's such a great idea. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of new studies that show that the virus can't really happen on boxes anymore. It's not that big of a deal, but like, is it really a good idea for me to go getting used boxes from other places? Probably not. So I decided to just go ahead and order new boxes. Um, I, I struggled with what to order. Last time I moved from my first apartment to this apartment, I know I didn't get enough boxes and we had to keep ordering them. Now, luckily the place I ordered from last time, which is way more expensive than this place, they had free shipping too. So does this place, free shipping over a certain price. And so it, ordering more is not that big of a deal if I use up all the ones that we've got, but I kind of wanted to avoid that again, just from the delivery standpoint, it's just easier if it all came in one foul swoop. So what I ordered was I ordered a kit that comes with some large, some medium and some small. And then I ordered some additional small. I was torn because I know that moving places are gonna charge us by the box, but I feel like we have so much heavy stuff and like things that need to go into small boxes, like books and toiletries and planner stuff. And I just, I don't know, I felt like heavy stuff, like weights. I mean, all of our dumbbells, like I feel like moving that is gonna be really tough. So I don't know, I got an extra set of small boxes and then I got tape, packing paper, and then I got a set of frame boxes. Uh, they came in a set of three, which kind of works out for us because I have this mirror right here. I have the photo that's above our bed. You probably see that when I sit at the desk and like vlog behind me. And then we have one more photo up in our storage space that is Sam's that we will take two. Um, so I am gonna start packing a little bit this weekend. We're about five weeks out, but I wanna start slow because I don't wanna get burnt out of decluttering and just start throwing things in boxes. I wanna be able to take my time and really think about everything that I'm packing. So this weekend, I'm starting with the holiday stuff, like the Christmas and the Hanukkah stuff. There's two plastic bins up there that aren't full because I took some of our stuff with us to Chicago. I have one bag down here that was the, the holiday stuff that got taken to Chicago that just didn't get put away because I knew we were gonna be packing it. And then I have one box in my closet that's really just the Christmas tree. Um, we have a fake Christmas tree because cr real Christmas trees in New York are just expensive and we usually leave for the holidays anyway, so it doesn't seem worth it. I love real trees. So going through those four things and getting them in boxes this weekend, that's the goal. And then I also got this, which I'm so excited about. So a lot of tips I got said to color code by room. And so I found this on Amazon. It's a pack of just, I, I don't know if it's like duct tape or normal tape. I'm not planning to use this tape as like the actual packing tape of the boxes. I'm gonna use just regular packing tape because it's much less expensive. But then once the box is all packed up, I will go over just the edges with the color for the room. So I got this pack on Amazon because it had six colors. They had more options with more colors, but I figured I only needed six because we only have six rooms and barely because how many boxes are there really gonna be for the bathroom? Um, and this was like the the rolls I, I could find that were the biggest, like had the most tape on it because I am slightly concerned about running out of 
a color that goes to a specific room. So I think whatever room I feel like has the most boxes, that one needs to be black because that's so much easier to replace. And then maybe either red or yellow will be the next most common room because I feel like those are also easier to replace. Whereas these three colors I feel like are pretty unique. So these three will probably be like the bathroom because that's going to be the smallest. Maybe in the bedroom, the bedroom, we're not going to have much more than like our bed. So it's that those boxes are going to be very minimal. And then I don't know. I feel like the kitchen has a lot of boxes and our offices. Maybe Sam's office has the least amount of boxes. All right. I totally lied yesterday. I'm having a second cup of coffee before finishing my water. It's just one of those days where I feel like I really need a second cup of coffee. I still got a decent amount of sleep last night and actually kind of surprised myself. I didn't get as many hours as I normally do or even hit my goal in terms of total hours because I got up earlier to get stuff done before my podcast interview, which by the way, went awesome and it will go live on Monday, like the Monday after this video goes live. So Monday the 22nd, if you want to check out that podcast. So I didn't get my full seven and a half hours, which is what I have on. I use an app called auto sleep to track my sleep. And that's my goal is seven and a half hours. And I only got six hours and 45 minutes last night, but I still got a 96% rating on my sleep last night because I crushed all my other goals, like my heart rate, my deep sleep. And then I forget what they call it. It's like not deep sleep, but not awake, like whatever the REM sleep, I think. Actually, because when I learned in the book, Why We Sleep, REM sleep is not actually like the deepest of sleeps. Non-REM is the deepest of sleeps when you're not dreaming. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Anyways, I'm trying to tell you what it is. Oh, okay. So here's the rings. It's like, you know, it's an Apple app. And so they like their rings on their Apple watch and they like the rings on this app too. So the outer ring is the number of hours that you slept. And that's the one I got a yellow on because I didn't close last night. And then the next one is your quality ring. And that considers how long you've slept, how restless you've been and your sleeping heart rate. The next one is your deep sleep. And that's the one that I was struggling with for the longest time until I got my hatch. I promise like that thing changed my sleep. And then the inner ring is just your heart rate, comparing your sleeping heart rate to your average daily heart rate. And so I still got a 96%, even though I only slept for six hours and 45 minutes, which is amazing. Man, oh man, even this introvert is, is it's a lot today. So after I last talked to you, I then had three more calls, two on Zoom and one not on Zoom, but it was a lot of talking today. I'm exhausted and I don't know if it's, Again, because I felt like I didn't sleep well or just all that talking about like, I'm just tired. I, my body is just tired. My mind is tired. And so I am very thankful that I planned two easy meals this week. I always plan a super easy dinner for Wednesdays because of lattes with Lakin, but I had a second easy dinner plan this week and it's just going to be absolutely perfect for tonight. Also, I'm trying to get better about putting my blue light glasses on earlier in the evening than I was. And I did that by adding it to one of my routines. So I do a communication routine from five to six where I respond to Instagram DMs, the text from my patrons, emails, like all of those kinds of things. And so the first step of that routine is put on your blue light glasses. But anyway, we came to the kitchen to talk about dinner. So let me show you what I'm doing quickly for dinner. If you watch last week's weekly vlog, I cooked <laughs> a pound of ground turkey and I just added some basic like Italian seasonings to it. And then I'm gonna do a package of cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's that has been in my freezer for, I don't know, literal year, over a year because I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a really long time. So I hope that this is still, feels like very frozen. So normally what I would do, cause I'm also doing a thing of mushrooms. Normally I would do the mushrooms first and then add in the gnocchi but I think I'm gonna have to end up draining this because I think there's just a lot of extra ice in there um and then mushrooms and Sam who went shopping last week bought the pre-cut so that saves me cutting and dishes um maybe he's trying to save himself dishes and then some pasta sauce and then top it off with a little bit of cheese super easy pretty darn healthy um I mean the gnocchi does have other stuff it's not just straight cauliflower but overall pretty healthy and super easy dinner. And then as always, I go ahead and pre-portion it out into leftovers for lunch and then dinner for tonight. Pretty much every time I cook, I am making enough to have leftovers because we love leftovers and it makes lunches easy. And if I'm already gonna be cooking, then I might as well make, make leftovers because cooking is just not my favorite thing. Good morning, it is Saturday and it's very different than last Saturday. Just letting you know that not every Saturday am I hopping out of bed with a to-do list and a plan and getting all the things done. Last weekend, I was on top of it. Both weekend days, I was like out of bed by eight, like doing my morning routine, making breakfast, all the things. Today it's 10.30 and I'm still in bed with yesterday's makeup on. 
fun. Um, I've been up since like 8 or 8.30, but I haven't done a whole lot of anything yet. And uh, it feels kind of nice to just lay here. I think knowing that I have an extra day on the weekend, this weekend, because we have Monday off of work, helps with that. Also, I just kind of, it's been a long week. Yesterday was actually also just kind of a long day. Um, I had a lot of things going on at work. And then I got a call from HR, which is never, like, nobody wants to hear from HR. When HR emails you and says, hey, we we need to find some time to talk this afternoon, you, like, immediately freak out and have, like, a panic attack. If you guys also, if you're not following this guy, if you are, especially if you're a millennial, there's a guy on Instagram. It's just me dot rod. He, he started on TikTok, but now he posts on Instagram. But he does these super funny bits about being a millennial working a nine to five job and having like the thoughts about like being fired and all just it's so funny. It, it but sometimes it's so true. I feel like a lot of the things he posts. I'm like, yep, that's that feels like me. I've shared him on Instagram before. Anyways, so when I got that email from HR, I was like, um, okay, like, you know, it's just whatever. Worst case scenario is where my brain went. And then I talked to the HR person. Somebody filed for unemployment under my name, which is just like, of course, uh, it's actually not the first time that I've heard of it happening. It happened to both a friend of mine and my stepdad. Both have had it happen in the last month. And so while I was like surprised and now it's like kind of frustrating because I have all these steps I have to do to protect and like get everything squared away. It's also like, it wasn't the first time I'd heard of it. So <laughs> anyways, um, that, and then yesterday morning, I didn't start the morning quite like I had originally planned. I was scheduled to take the live workout class with Justina and she canceled it like 30 minutes before because she had an injury, which I completely respect. Like that's fine. And I would like to tell you that I'm the person that even though the live class got canceled, I then like still got dressed and did my own class. Nope, I actually crawled back into bed with Sam and went back to sleep for an hour. I had like gotten up, had coffee, done my entire morning routine, and like was about to change and put on my workout clothes, and then got the email that the class was canceled, and I got literally got back into bed. So yesterday I just feel like I was all over the place and clearly didn't wash my makeup off. I fell asleep. Sam and I almost well, he finished Firefly Lane last night. I that's what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> After I finished talking, he was watching the last episode that I fell asleep in with my makeup on. Just that's that's where we're at. So, like I said, I don't have a plan for t for today. There are things I want to get done, but I, d I haven't planned I, for the whole weekend. Like, there's things I want to get done this whole weekend, and I don't have anything planned or scheduled or any of that stuff. So, I think the first thing I'm going to do is sit here and sip my coffee and watch that episode of Firefly Lane. Then I'm going to do my morning routine, which is funny. So, on my phone, on my routinery app, I have it set at 10 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Not because that's the time I do it. I mean, last weekend I did it at 8. Most of the time I usually do it before 10, but then today it reminded me. And I was like, no, not yet. I'll get, I'll get to it. So I'll do that. I'll do my morning routine. And then I'll probably like shower and get ready for the day. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to work out because I skipped yesterday. So that's also a decision I have to make. And then the first step will just be to brain dump and get everything out of my head that I want to get done over the next three days. And then kind of plan around what days they're going to happen and where the rest is going to go because that's definitely still an important factor of my weekends is, is getting in time for rest and I, I I change my mind about this every time let me know down in the comments kind of how you tackle the weekends if you do work a traditional like Monday through Friday job part of me wants to just jump out of bed and get all of the things done in the world today so that I can have tomorrow completely off and have like no household, no nothing. I know last weekend I talked about like what I've been doing recently is kind of the half and half where I do half of the day of work and half of the day of rest. Saturdays is plan with Lakin and Sundays is household and then the other half of the day is rest. But part of me is also like, well, maybe I do one full day of work, both household and plan with Lakin. I don't actually have a ton of plan with Lakin stuff to do this weekend, but I have some other goals related things that I want to do this weekend and some of it still feels like work. I hope that all of your goals don't feel like work, but some of it still is going to feel like work. I need to like, I also I need to go through the, the freezer and the pantry and make a inventory list because I want to try and get as much of the stuff in our freezer and our pantry used up before we move. That's also on my list. Like so anyways, part of me is like, do you just power through and get it all done today and then take tomorrow totally off and then maybe treat Monday as like a plan with like a work day, even though I'm not working. So I don't know. I have a lot of thoughts about it. Let me know down in the comments. If you work traditionally Monday through Friday, 
how do you balance on the weekends? Like, how do you, do you do all of your household and things that need to get done on one day and then rest one day? Do you split it between the two days? Which is, again, what I've kind of been doing, but then I also kind of love the idea of, like, a full day of rest. Especially since tomorrow's Valentine's Day. And I realized that it's the first Valentine's Day Sam and I have ever spent together. Somebody asked me that recently on a live about, do we have any Valentine's Day traditions? And I was like, well, I know for sure we haven't spent the last three together. And I kind of couldn't remember what we did for that first one. Nope, that first one, I actually went to Disney World with a friend of mine. And that trip had been planned before I met Sam. Uh, so we, because it's always this long weekend, and I like to take advantage of long weekends and traveling. And so I've like always gone somewhere this weekend and none of it has never been somewhere with Sam. It was a Disney World with a friend, Chicago Planner Conference twice, and then last year was wedding dress shopping. So this is the first time we're spending Valentine's Day together. So I guess that's a silver lining of everything going on. Also, clearly haven't made the bed yet. And look at this cute girl. What are you doing? You're like in a little cave. You're so cute, Charlie. Hi, okay, it's Monday. <laughs> I didn't really vlog over the weekend. I think after vlogging, what is my hair doing right now? Uh, after vlogging so much last weekend, I feel like I just wanted some time off this weekend and I kind of decided Saturday I was gonna power through and get a lot of things done and I did that, like powered through, checked off a lot of things on Saturday that allowed me to really do nothing yesterday except hang out with Sam and relax and I did a little bit of reading because we could, it was Sunday, except the one thing I did yesterday, which I did and I'm gonna show you, but I'm also kind of mad at myself. I packed my box. I, I got started with packing. Like I said I would, I packed Christmas and I put it in this box and it's all packed. And then I realized that I forgot to put the lights in there <laughs> with everything else and I already taped it up and I'm like so frustrated because there is space in there for the lights. And I just don't, I don't know how they didn't end up in there. Like, I'm just so frustrated at myself. Uh, so I think I'm going to untape it, like cut up, you know, cut it open and put it back in. Cause I don't have too many of these large boxes. It's not like, not like I'm ruining the box by cutting open the tape to stick the lights in there, but I just want all of Christmas together. And <laughs> so I'm going to fix that. But what it reminds me of, which is what I'm actually really excited to tell you about was what I got to do this morning and it, oh my gosh, you guys, it was so awesome. So if you've been around, you know that I am a huge, huge fan of Kendra Adachi from The Lazy Genius. I love her podcast. I love her book. I I love her. I follow her on Instagram. And just she, I admire her so much. And I, I've i had a couple DM on Instagram interactions with her. Nothing major. Just like I responded to her stories and she actually answered me back. And it was really cool. And she is just one of those people that I like really want to meet in person someday. So she started a community for 2021 and originally I wasn't going to sign up because I told myself no more courses 2021 and it felt like I was just buying another course. But because I just really value her principles so much and I also feel like I learn so much from her principles that I can apply to not only my goals, but helping my community with their goals. I just knew that being a part of the community would really bring me value. Well, part of the community aspect, like one of the, the features or benefits of her community is a monthly hot seat call where she is going to take a member or two from the community, you apply to be a part of it, and she's going to apply Lazy Genius principles to the problem or the issue and then upload it for everybody else to watch. So when I saw the email come in a few weeks ago that was like, do you want to apply for the February hot seat and like, do you have a topic? I immediately thought it was like, maybe it wasn't weeks ago. No, I don't, I can't remember if it was before or after we got our apartment. Either way, I knew we were moving. And so I decided to apply with the topic of packing and moving and I got picked. There was another member of the community who's also in the process of packing and moving, although her situation is also very different from mine. It's so interesting. She's building her own house and then moving in with her in-laws in between like the houses, like trying to, she's gonna move in with her in-laws and then to sell her house while her new house is still being built. Anyway, that's not important, but her situation was also very different from mine. And the call was this morning. So I, I don't know why I thought that the call was actually gonna be live with the community. I don't know why that's like how I thought it was gonna work. Cause I feel like most communities, it's like a live call. No, no, no. It was just like us. It was the three of us. It was literally Kendra, me and this other girl, Jessica, 
this morning on a Zoom call and it was amazing. It was so amazing. And one of the things that we determined, I mean, Kendra's just a magician at like asking all the right questions to just figure out what is the best process, what's the right order, what matters, like oh, you know, all of the things. If you read The Lazy Genius, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So one of the things that we determined was that I could can start packing now like I had originally thought and planned but to not tape up the boxes right now just in case I have to get something out or I have to add something or whatnot so start packing but not tape up the boxes and of course I'd already taped up that one box before the call this morning but it's all right I'm so excited all the things that we determined I can't wait for her to upload it so I can go back and re-listen and like get that advice back uh, like that she gave because I was just so like trying to stay present in the conversation that I wasn't writing down all the things that she was telling me. But anyways, it was just really freaking awesome. So that was the first part of my day. And then I had this really bad headache. I don't, I don't know what was going on. So I kind of just relaxed in the middle of the day. Then I finally got it back together. Started, I didn't work today off, my, today off of work. Started doing some more things on my to-do list, including I washed all of my makeup brushes. Why can't I get them in the shot? They're all drying right there on a towel. Then I had my call with my nutrition coach, which I normally do on Mondays. It just gets me started on the right foot for the week. And at the end of our call, also for the first time, I decided to send her a picture of my health planner, which I hadn't been doing. I don't know why I didn't send it to her. Um, and so that was fun. She asked me a lot of questions about what was in my planner. But regardless, at the end of the call, she was like, all right, like this is our time is up. I know it's the middle of the month, but we've worked together for two months, eight weeks. We've done eight sessions total because we started at the end of December and January is a really long month. So today was our eighth session together. And she was like, I would really like you to have a soft graduation. I really would like you to, to try this on your own. I think you're doing a good job. You're doing all the right things. You know what you need to be doing. Yes, I provide accountability, but I think and know that you can do this on your own. And she was like, if you try it for a month and you struggle, we can always get back together and start working together again. But I really think that you can handle this on your own. And I just, I really appreciate service providers who tell you when to stop using their services and say like, I know that you can do this on your own. Yes, I'd like you to keep paying me and like, I can, she's like, we get on these calls and like at this point, like I don't have anything to give you because you know all the right things and you're doing all the right things. Like I don't have any comments. Like we had one thing today that we talked about that is something that I can work on. Otherwise, like it's pretty much, I know what I need to do. So anyways, that was exciting. Uh, I mean, I'm sad because I just adore her as a person and I'm kind of like, oh, I just like catching up with her every week, but I also know it's for the best and it means that somebody else is going to get to take a spot with her and work with her and really um, hopefully have a, I mean, cheesy as it sounds, but life-changing experience of working with somebody to help them through their health journey. Um, and she talks about a lot more than just losing weight. So if like that is not a health focus for you, but like you want nutrition health focus for something else that she does that as well. Okay. And then the last thing we obviously have to do is talk about the black owned planner shops. So I am going to get you set up on the tripod so we can do that. <laughs> All right, this part of the vlog is really the reason why I didn't close it out over the weekend because I wanted this part to have the lights and like for me to have makeup on and I didn't put makeup on on Saturday or Sunday. So I wanted to wait and do this part today. The vlogs are all over the place right now. I have not kicked off on a, a vlog on a Monday in a very long time. So let's get into it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out two weeks ago, the first vlog that went up in February. I talked about how every week in February, I am sharing 10 black owned planner shops and giving away $20 gift cards to all of those shops so that we can support the amazing creative black women that are a part of this planner community. So let's get going. The first shop today is Shay Budgets and I just adore Shay. If you also don't follow her on YouTube. I highly recommend checking her out. She is, we have a lot in common. I feel like we're very similar. We met at the New York City Planner Addicts event where we were both speaking a couple of years, a couple years ago. I, don't, I guess it was like two, over two years ago at this point. And she is just amazing at the amount that her and her husband have accomplished financially. If you like to watch budget videos, I highly recommend obviously following Shea Budgets. But today we're here to talk about her Etsy shop that she started because she started creating stickers for herself and for her own personal budget and then decided to also sell them for other people. And now the Etsy shop is a big part of her online income and she talks a lot about that in her videos. So her Etsy shop stickers are focused on budgeting. So if you are a paper budgeter, I highly recommend checking out her shop. I don't personally budget on paper and so most of the stickers in her shop aren't something that I would use, but she does have these monthly screens 
script stickers that I thought were beautiful and like could be used in a lot of different places and a lot of different planners, even if you're not a paper budgeter. Okay, the next shop I wanna talk about is Wildly Noted, and this is actually a somewhat new shop. And what I love about this shop is that she was actually recommended by another shop. So I reached out to a different shop talking about this feature that I called it a project that I was working on. And she said, you know, there's a newer shop that you might not have found as you were doing your research. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew about it. And I just, I appreciate that so much that like support and lifting up other women and other shops, I just, I just love it. So Wildly Noted is a newer shop and she has all of these amazing uplifting, mostly like journaling cards and quotes and just beautiful products that are inspiring and uplifting. I mean, I feel like I'm using all the same words, but that's just how I felt when I was scrolling through her shop. Now, she does have a lot of things out of stock right now. As of the time that I'm filming this video, it might be back in stock by the time you click on the link, but check her out. There are still a lot of beautiful things in her shop. The thing that jumped out at me the most that was in stock when I scroll through the website is this journaling card that says, be kind to yourself. I just thought it was so beautiful. Just such an important message for us all to remember. Okay. The next shop I want to talk about is Oso Paper Co. And just giving you the heads up, she's got a lot of options. So if you go check out her shop, she just has so many different things to look at. She's got stickers, kits, girl stickers, like beautiful hand-drawn girl stickers doing all kinds of different activities. She's got notepads, but the thing in her shop that obviously jumped out at me, if you, if you know me and you went to her shop without me telling you this, you would know this was the thing that I was the most like really excited about and I'm really tempted to order so that I can look at it and share it with you and that's a goal planner. She has a planner focused specifically on goals and I'm so, so, so tempted to order it. There's another, there's a, like one or two other planners that I also have my eye on that are like goal planners that I'd never heard of before that I found recently. So I might combine them all and do like a collab, not a collab, but like a compilation. That's the word I want, a compilation video. But anyway, that was the thing in her shop that I was like, oh, that's really tempting and the cover is really cute. Okay, the next shop is Pretty and Primco, and she has a ton of doodle stickers, and she's got all these different, like, characters doing all these different things. So if you like that kind of doodle, the little character aesthetic in your planner, the shop is the one for you. And she's got lots of different characters, not just, like, one character. You know how a lot of shops have their, like, one character doing all the things? She's got multiple different colors and types of characters doing all kinds of things. And there were a lot of options. There were a lot of things that I was like, oh, I like that. Oh, I do that. I put that in my planner. But the one that I really like was this computer one because it had a space to write what it is that you're doing. So instead of having to grab like a half box and then add a little laptop sticker, I could just put one of these stickers down and write what I'm doing on the computer in, in the little computer. Isn't that cute? Okay, the next shop I wanna talk about is Goldmine and Coco, and you might recognize her name. I talked about her shop way back last summer when I ordered from Paper House. They did a collab with a bunch of different sticker shop owners, and she was one of them, so I have some of her stickers from her collab with, with Paper House Productions. Her girl that she draws that does all kinds of different activities, her name is Peyton, and I have a lot of the Peyton stickers doing different activities from that collab, but man, in her actual shop, she has so many things. I mean, she's got stickers, she's got kits, she's got inserts, she's got printables. Like she has just all kinds of different options. And again, and then this girl, this gorgeous girl, Peyton, who does all kinds of different activities. But the thing that jumped out at me the most, y'all know I love a good quote, was this set of quote stickers that was all about like pushing yourself and working harder, especially working on your physical health. And this just tempted me so much to grab and put the quotes on my health planner. I just thought that that would be just a like super fun addition to my health planner. Okay, the next shop I wanna talk about is Jub Jub Cove and she is on Etsy and she does washi samples. So if you are looking to up your washi game and to get some different types of washi, especially from some of your favorite shops, some shops that I've talked about in earlier vlogs, that are part of this project, but just any kind of gorgeous washi, but you don't wanna either pay for the whole roll or store the whole roll, or you won't need the whole roll, so it just doesn't make sense for you to have this. That's where washi samples come in, and she is doing these awesome like collections of washi samples. I've never seen, like, I've seen washi sample shops before, but I don't think I've ever seen one, or I haven't in a while, that did them like combined like this, where you got like a collection. The one that jumped out at me and just makes the most sense for me is a holiday set. So I really loved this like wintry Christmas theme. I feel like all my Christmas washi is like red and green. And so I really liked this different color set of Christmas washi. And again, I think for things like holidays, like I am never gonna use a whole roll of Christmas washi. So getting samples is the way to go for that. 
Okay, the next shop I want to talk about is Golden Goddess, and she has a ton of printables. So again, if you are somebody who likes inserts, if you are a ring bound system person, user, I am not. And so there are a lot of things in her shop that I probably wouldn't use because I just, that's not my style of planning. But if that is your style of planning, she's got a ton of gorgeous inserts. She also has a ton of physical products as well. And the thing that jumped out at me was this notebook because this cover, y'all, oh, I just love this cover. I just think it's so beautiful. Okay, the next shop I wanna talk about is Self Love Tool Chest. Also somebody that I just love following on Instagram. I love her message and everything that she talks about on Instagram. But this shop is, I mean, it is here for the self-love, but it is also here for the inclusivity. So if you are looking for Black Lives Matter, LGBTQ support, any any of those social justice missions, she's got it. She's got a product that is going to talk about about that and let you show your support and your or your pride or your, you know, enthusiasm for supporting these missions. She's got products for it. She's got apparel she's got enamel pins that's like her bread and butter are these gorgeous enamel pins and there's so many that i love the designs and man i just have so many enamel pins that i just don't use now because the only place i ever really used them was on like a lanyard at a planner conference and i'm just not going to conferences right now but if you are somebody who uses enamel pins in another way go check out her shop she's got so many gorgeous ones but the thing in her shop that i was drawn to the most was this art piece printable. I just, I love the color obviously, but I also love the quote and the sentiment about self-love and caring for yourself. And I think that once I get into my new office and kind of get it situated and figure out what kind of art I need in my office, I talked about an art piece last week that I wanted and this is another one that I'm really leaning towards. Okay, the next shop I wanna talk about is Sweet Gem Life and she is currently closed. So if you go click on her link, she is closed for another two weeks or so as of the time that I'm filming this video, but I still go check out her shop when you get a chance. She's got a ton of gorgeous, like her design aesthetic, like the colors that she puts together are so, so, so beautiful. And she has these one page kits that I really like. So if you are somebody who has a lot of stickers that you're trying to use up, but you want like a base kit to kick off your week and kind of give, give you that inspiration. I think that her one page kits are a really great starting point. I particularly like this one. I found it on her Instagram since her shop was closed and I couldn't browse through her website, but I found this one on Instagram that I really liked. I also saw like shirts and all kinds of things. You could still go scroll her Instagram and see all of the things that she does. She also has a YouTube channel where she does plan with me's and supports other shops and shows their stickers as well. So if you're looking for another YouTube channel with plan with me's, I would recommend her as well. Okay, the next shop I wanna talk about is Planner Aesthetic. And she, the name probably kind of gives you a hint at what her vibe is like, but she has got that aesthetic. It's like that those neutral colors. It's very clean and very classy. And I just, I, I love the aesthetic of it. And she's got a ton of stuff as well. Stickers, sticky notes, all kinds of things. And the stickers that jumped out at me the most were these full box quote stickers that just, again, I love the sentiment of them and just the simplicity of them. And I feel like they would just make a really great starting point for a weekly spread. All right, and then the last shop I'm gonna talk about this week is Simply Patience, and she is on Etsy, and she has a ton of different printables. So if you are somebody who likes to get stickers designed from somewhere else, but then you can print and make them at home to either, whether it's to save a little bit of money or to be able to use them more than once, you know, sometimes it only comes with one set and it's something you wanna reuse, sticker printable options if you are somebody who is crafty that way can be a really great option for things that you do over and over again the thing i want to highlight in her shop is actually not something that i personally would use but i just love it i love that she has it and that is all of these stickers for the divine nine sororities i know that there are issues with the divine nine being represented in sorority stickers their colors and their history being represented in the planner community. And we've had that issue and we've had that, we haven't had that conversation enough clearly because it's still an issue. And so she's got it, she's got it for you. So if you currently are a member or you were a member of the Divine Nine and you are looking for it, she's got all kinds of different designs um, with all the different colors and the founding years and all kinds of stuff for the Divine Nine sororities. She's also got a lot of, I'm just going on and on about it again, not something that I need, but she's got stickers for all of the historically black colleges. So specific in the colors, 
the theme, like all of the things that you would need if you attend or if you attended one of the historically black universities. And I just love that. I love seeing what she's created and filled that need that I know is a void in the planner community. So that's it. Those are the 10 shops that I wanted to highlight this week. Just like every other week, head down to the description box and click the link to enter in the giveaway to win a $20 gift card to one of these amazing shops. And with that, we are going to close out this vlog. I think most of this vlog happened today, but hopefully you found some value in it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. Take 812. Wait, where did it go? Um, 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 um. What? what kind of noise is that? Flyerfly, flyerfly lane? Flyerfly? Kicks me, uh, kicks me off? What? Uh, whole arm, what? Got lots of gorgeous insurance. Insurance. It's hard to say. Washi sh shampoo. It's really hard to say.